ho, fellow travelers, Mark and Jocelyn with Walter's World. And today we wanted to give you a video on what to buy for small travelers because quite a few people have asked um, as we travel around the world what kids need and how, do, how are they different than, than we big travelers. So we thought we would start um, with a book that is near and dear to our hearts. Um, there's an adult version of Atlas Obscura, but now there's a kid's version. And what's great, if you're not sure what Atlas Obscura is, this is all the crazy weird sites and museums and stuff like that that are all around the world. So if your kid, you're not sure what your kid might get excited about, give them this book and show the country you're gonna go to. They're like, did you know there's a dinosaur museum? Did you know there's a museum about bugs? This is the one that will tell you all the cool stuff. And that Liam has sat back on our tick couch right here and just sat back and read and looked at the pictures and had a great time with it. But this is a must for a little traveler. It's a great imagination starter and really get them pumped up for your trip. So this really pumps up their imagination when they're traveling. And another way to capture the child's imagination is through art, right? Um, so we like to give our kids these wonderful watercolor brushes. You just put water in them and you can either have um, a pot of paint or you can get some um, watercolor pencils. So they draw and then they get to move the paint around and things like that. It makes it really mess free or less mess. Um, and obviously to go along with that, you need some watercolor paper that'll stand up to water, right? And this is one of the nice things we did. We were in Bath and the kids and Jocelyn were drawing and painting with this and the kids loved it because it was a really cool experience. So we have some actually nice paintings and watercolors of, that the kids and did of wonder, the buildings. Wonderful things to frame for them later in life, maybe for their birthdays or something, they're going to get their own artwork framed. So another wonderful thing for kids to make great memories and keep them with them is a travel journal. Um, we sometimes just give our kids an empty book but there are a lot of wonderful travel journals out there that have prompts that kind of get the kids thinking and writing about what they saw, what they did, what the weather was like, things like that. What the, the favorite thing they ate. Oh, like absolutely. And then, you know, years down the road, they go back and they look at it and it's just, it's amazing. I love to look back on our kids' journals and those funny phonetic spellings. It's a wonderful <laughs> gift. Yeah, and the thing is that sometimes your kid doesn't want to write all the time, but you want them to be entertained without a lot of noise and racket when you're in a restaurant, so. Restaurants, planes, trains, all forms um, of transportation. Oh, see, that one's been used. Um, so this is by Knock Knock Gamepad, and they've got several different kinds of games in here. Um, I actually like to tear pieces of it out, and I just keep a few in my purse at all times, no matter where we are, whether it's at home or it's some other country. Um, this is just a great easy way to keep them busy, but also we like to play kids versus parents in some of the games and just kind of it's it's a good family moment. Yeah, and another thing that can help with your family if you're looking for something and, and I know some people like electronics and people don't like electronics with the kids, but one thing is a Kindle Fire is actually a nice little thing to have because one, it's cheap. You're not giving a, a, a $400 iPad, you're getting like a $50 Kindle, so it's a lot easier and you can do a lot of stuff with it. And you can load the games you can load the books, you can decide what they have. So um, we just, we really love the Kindle Fire. It's less expensive, um, so I'm not devastated if it's broken or lost, because yeah. yeah, losing a $500, $400 iPad which, hurts. Which we have, which is why we're like, Kindle which Fire! Is, is learn do. from our mistake, right? <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, is if you're not, well, these are a lot of things that are like for longer trips, but if you're doing like road trips and stuff like that, I'll be honest, the uh, the Nintendo Switch, I mean, I know it's it's a bit much. It's higher than we're usually paying for stuff. It's not super pricey compared to the other ones, but actually you can play the games. They can use it as a handheld. But what's cool is you can pop off the uh, the things and you actually can put, prop it up and the kids can play it like against each other in the back of the car, which is nice. Or if they're at a, you know, if you're at... Or on the plane. Or on the plane. Our kids have done that lots of times. So that is a nice little thing to do. It's very lightweight. You can actually download games onto it so you don't have to carry the chips around. Mm -hmm. So that's really kind of a cool thing. And Fortnite's international. <laughs> everywhere so our so, kids actually play with kids in Europe so, yeah. um, so, so there's all kinds of stuff of there but this is another nice little thing you can pick up now another one I would I would suggest though that because of its price I we personally carry that if we take it oh, yeah. 
That goes in our bag, not in the kids' bags. Yeah, and speaking of bags, what kind of kids, if you're oh. looking for a backpack for kids, which is a big question we get. Oh, and but we are we are Osprey fans, and so this is Liam's bag. It's um, an Osprey Jet 12, and you know what? This little thing holds a lot of stuff. It even has a piece in the back where you can put like the hydraulic, you know, the water bag and all that to drink from, and um, it it is the perfect size for him. There's also a larger one for Caleb, um, so he can put bigger stuff in it, and um, you'd be amazed. Small soccer balls can actually be squeezed in there because mm -hmm. we've bought a soccer ball in every country we've ever been to, I think. Yeah. At least that's how it feels. It feels like that sometimes. And one of the things to stuff in there, an easy one to go, is actually getting some Uno cards. And the thing is, Uno, we've played this with Italians. we played this with Japanese. We've played this in South America. we played this all over the world. This game is a great way to meet for kids to meet other kids because they all know how to play it's it. It's pretty universal. They don't need a whole lot of um, verbal skills. Like, you know. Sometimes numbers are numbers, man. Numbers yeah, are sometimes language gets to be a hurdle. And so this, obviously, this box <laughs> has been through the ringer and back. Um, it was from Kmart that that tells you how long ago this was, okay? <laughs> but it has been around the world. It's got a lot of miles on it, and it's it's made a lot of it's made a lot of happy memories. Yes, it has. And then the last thing we have, I'll let Jocelyn talk about. So I'm sure you've seen these wonderful scratch off maps. They have them of the world. They also have them of the United States or you know specific places. But the kids get to track where they've been. And so every time you come home, they get to just scratch a wee little bit of that off. And actually, one of my best friends, Sarah, um, Auntie Princess Sarah, sent my our kids their, um, their map. And it, it's just a fun way for them to remember where they've been. And they always look forward. Actually, they kind of fight over scratching. Yeah. Who gets to scratch Maybe my get country? Maybe one for each of the kids because... It might be a good idea. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah that's, that was one of the issues. We well, <laughs> we usually go to more than one country at a time. So they, yeah. get to, they each get to scratch. So, yeah. yeah. And that's why if you're traveling in the U.S., I would get the U.S. one because it's state by state, which is kind of a cool thing. Absolutely. So there is that too. So I hope this helps, or we hope this helps you if you're looking for gifts for your little travelers because we know it can be tough to find stuff for them. So if you're a parent or a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle, here's some fun things you can do that... You know. Make those kids, and I mean, they're always enthusiastic, right? They're kids. Yeah. But it's always great to just push that, that envelope a little bit further and get them really pumped about the next place they're going to visit. Yeah. So we wish you a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays. And for whatever you celebrate, we wish you all the best. And anything else you want to say? Happy travels, too. Oh, happy travels, too. Bye. Bye.